Hello, welcome to my life page. I am Dr. Namit Jarath. I am a pediatrician and today we will be talking about pediatrics. But before going on to pediatrics, let me tell you a bit about my journey so far. So I, after doing my 12th standard, appeared for the entrance exam at that stage, which was a national exam and got entrance into MBBS uh, course. So after completing the MBBS course from Medical College at Riva, I again entered for another entrance exam for subspecialties. And pediatrician is a child specialist and to become a pediatrician, you have to go through a course on in pediatrics. In India, there are two courses available widely in most of the medical colleges, either a two year diploma course in pediatrics, which is known as DCH or a three-year MD course in pediatrics, uh, which is a full-fledged degree course in pediatrics. But to become a pediatrician, you have to be an MBBS doctor first. So in pediatrics, you are exposed to various sub-subjects within pediatrics. You learn about growth and development of children, which is assessing and evaluating children depending on their age appropriate growths. So children don't come in fixed sizes or fixed ages. So because they are not in fixed sizes, fixed ages, that is a continuum of growth. Some children might be normal. Some parents might be concerned about the children's growth and so being a pediatrician requires a lot of patience. You need some special skills. You have to be patient enough to listen to the parents. The best thing about working with children is that you're working with very pure souls. They have no hatred against anyone. They enjoy and express things just as they feel. So I think that is the most important part of uh, being a pediatrician and treating children. You have, you enjoy working with children is lots and lots of hard work. So during your training as pediatrician, you work very hard. When you are trained as a pediatrician, you continue to work very hard because parents entrust their little lives in your hands and you cannot just play with that. So you have to be sincere to yourself and to your patients and this requires a good amount of commitment and hard work on your part. As a pediatric intensivist or a pediatric critical care specialist, my day starts uh, early in the morning and we start our rounds in the pediatric intensive care unit, which involves a team of doctors we go through all the children who are admitted in the critical care unit one after the other, discuss all the aspects of the child's condition and make plans as for the management of the child. So this team of doctors goes diligently over the minutest details about the child. The team of doctors is already there working with the sick children and I would spend more time looking after the nitty-gritties and the finer aspects of managing such children. Most of the second half of the day goes in this. So by evening, we do another round of assessing whatever has happened through the day. Again, make plans for the night management. After that, I do an evening clinic for about two hours where I again see some outpatient department uh, patients. So I have uh, tried to give you an insight about my journey, starting off as an MBBS doctor, going on to do pediatrics and further specialization. I have given you an insight about what all do you learn during pediatrics, what to expect to learn during pediatric training. I hope you find this useful. I hope this answers some of your queries that you might have about uh, being a pediatrician or being a critical care specialist uh, pediatrician. And I hope this gives you uh, more insight into pediatrics. 
I wish you all the best in your career choice. Thank you.